edit the ah oh, sound effect over it. <laughs> G'day marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. My name is Oscar and today we're going to be watching how to train your dragon. I am so flippin' excited. This one on the poll that I put up a few days ago, I put up Mega Mind, The Incredibles, and How to Train Your Dragon. Of course, How to Train Your Dragon 1. That does not mean we won't do the other videos at some point. If I continue to be consistent with uploading these videos over the next, like, years to come, I'm gonna do other sorts of videos as well, so look out for those but I imagine we're gonna get through hundreds of movies. Don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna get through movies, all right? So don't stress. I've got my cocoa. If you want a snack or some sort of hot beverage, I would go get it because we're about to start. So without further ado, let's jump in. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this is my favorite DreamWorks intro. I love it so much. I'm actually a little disappointed with the Puss in Boots one that we didn't get to see a unique DreamWorks intro for that because they're trying to make it like a franchise sort of trailer, kind of like what they do for Marvel um, movies. So, but no, I'm really, I really like these classic ones. This is Burke. It's 12 days hmm. north of Hopeless and a few degrees south of freezing to death. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. My village. In a word, sturdy. The only problems are the pests. Oh. Bye. Doesn't even care. His friend just got swept off. Dragons. Oh, small problem. We're Vikings. We have stubbornness issues. <laughs> oh, I bet. My name's Hiccup. Parents believe a hideous name will frighten off gnomes and trolls. Ah! Morning! I <laughs> love it. I, I always found it so difficult listening to his narration while there's so much interesting stuff going on in the actual movie. Hiccup! What is he doing out again? What are you doing out? Get inside! He's so big. Chief of the tribe. They say that when he was a baby, he popped a dragon's head clean off. Oh, how do you just pick it up and yeet it like that? Oh, and hearts are monstrous nightmare. Any night furies? Oh, it looks so awesome. The animation. It just feels so epic. It just throws you into the movie straight away. Head with attitude and interchangeable hands is Gobber. I've been his apprentice ever since I was little. Well, littler. I wonder how old he is. Is he like... Is he 14 or something? 13 or 14? And that's fish legs, snot lout, the twins, rough nut, and tough nut. <laughs> it's so over the top. Oh my gosh. I love how exaggerated it is. You can't even throw one of these. Dang, he can't. By this, we'll throw it for me. <laughs> if you ever want to get out there to fight dragons, you need to stop all... This. But you just pointed to all of me. Yes, it's so mean. Stop being all of you. Oh, easy peasy. I can do that. One day nice. I'll get out there. He just needs a chance to prove himself. Dang. Two heads, twice the stats. I imagine those two-headed ones, they have like more gas so they can cause bigger explosions. They have this nasty habit of setting themselves on fire. <laughs> Damn, dude. No one's ever seen. We call it the Night Fury. Whoa. No one has ever killed a Night Fury. That's why I'm gonna. Literally the assassin class in any sort of game you play. This guy's a one-man show. The devil still have some juice in them. Oh, mate, he's invincible. Come on, give me something to shoot at. Give me something to shoot at. So he seems pretty capable. He's a blacksmith, right? He seems like he's really good at it. Whoa. Got it. I bet that hurt the dragon though. Imagine falling from that height. <laughs> I love that's his reaction, like not again. It's like when your baby like draws crayons around the walls or something like that. It's just like, ugh. Bro, he's literally just like having a fist fight with a dragon. Sorry, Dad. You have disappointed Puppy once again. I think he just wants to be acknowledged and approved of. Stop! Just 
Scott. <laughs> He's like, oh, this Every is time you winter is almost here. Winter is coming. And I have an entire village to feed. Yeah, between you and me, the village could do with a little less feeding, don't you think? <laughs> this isn't a joke, Hiccup. Gosh, mate. What? Many things, Hiccup. But a dragon killer is not one of them. I feel sorry for him because he didn't really do anything like he went behind a pole and it breathed fire on it how could have he known that it would have caused that much damage it's not so much what you look like it's what's inside that he can't stand bruh <laughs> that would have felt so bad i just want to be one of you guys hmm i get what he's trying to say it's kind of like stop trying to kill dragons because it's not what you're meant to do but hiccup just wants to be accepted and that's the best way how if we find the nest and destroy it, the dragons will leave. One more search before the ice sets and Vikings. It's an occupation. Everyone looks so masculine. It's crazy. They all look like they've been on the trend. Those who stay will look after Hiccup. No one wants to look after that disaster of a boy. Put him in training with the others. No, I'm serious. So am I. He'd be killed before you let the first dragon out of its cage. Oh, you don't know that. I mean, that's the only way you're going to get him to get better, right? Everyone's so annoyed about the way he behaves. If you train him, then he's going to be more capable. I take him fishing and he goes hunting for... For trolls. Trolls exist. They steal your socks. But only the left ones. What's with that? <laughs> it's such a random detail. He taught me what a bacon could do, Gobber. He could, he could crush mountains, level forests, tame seas. Even Dang. as a boy, I knew what I was, what I had to become. Hiccup is not that boy. But the truth is, you won't always be around to protect. Yeah. Just because you knew what you wanted to be and what your purpose was at an early age doesn't mean you can't train someone to, you know, be capable. <gasps> <laughs> He's so tiny. Oh, he looks so creepy. He's sleeping. Oh, and now it's not sleeping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut out your heart and take it to my father. Oh, that's a bit extreme. <laughs> you know, for a kid as scrawny as he is, he's pretty brave. I feel like that's a quality that he has that's I think underestimated. He's extremely courageous. Oh wow, he feels bad about it. That he's even tied up. Oh, careful, buddy. Whoa, that's a big eyeball. Oh, the detail. Edit the ah oh, sound effect over it. <laughs> hey, I'd probably feel the same if a dragon had me pinned down. You get your wish. Dragon training. You start in the morning. Oh, oh man, boy. I should have gone first. <laughs> when you carry this axe, you carry all of us with you. You talk like us. You think like us. Dang, that's so much pressure though. You can't do anything else. You have to be exactly like everyone else. Welcome to dragon training. No turning back. All right, chill out. You're literally just training. It laid not up. Speed eight, armor 16. The hideous simple Plus 11 stealth times two. <laughs> the monstrous nightmare. Firepower 15. <laughs> it's like it's out of a game. Ah! One shot left. Pick up! <laughs> Dang, dude. A dragon will always, always go for the kill. Interesting. I love how he literally just about lost his life and that's Im he's immediately like, <laughs> his thoughts gone completely somewhere else. Oh, what about yesterday? It didn't kill me then. Ah, oh, poor dragon. Is that a growl or is that like a seemed like a purr to me? Where did Hiccup go wrong? Uh, he showed up. He didn't get eaten. He's never where he should be. Why don't they let him sit there? I mean, why doesn't Gobba like make sure that he's accepted? You know, I guess it's part of their culture, right? Like he doesn't want to get in between the natural order of things. Uh, there was a chance I was gonna read that. But now, 
you guys read, I'll go kill Snow. Hiccup is a lot less capable as far as his physical prowess compared to the rest of the group. I feel like they do kind of think that they're better than they are. Like none of them have killed a dragon before. Buries its victims, chokes its victims, turns its victims inside out. What? It's extremely it's... dangerous. How many different types of dragons are there? Night Fury. Size unknown. Never engage this dragon. Hide and pray it does not find you. Because he's literally like been near one. It's literally been on top of him and he survived. So imagine in the, the mini, like that, that little series on how to train a dragon, like that cartoon. I imagine that they introduce lots of different dragons. So far in this movie, we've only seen like four different types. Nados are quick and light on their feet. Look for its blind spot. Every dragon has one. Find it, hide in it, and strike. I think they just found it. How would one sneak up on a night fury? No one's ever met one and lived to tell the tale. Now get in there! What, he can't ask these questions in like a theory class? Watch out, babe. I'll take care of this. <laughs> <laughs> the sun was in my eyes, Astrid. The sun. What do you want me to do? Block out the sun? I can do that. I... He's still talking. Is this some kind of a joke to you? Our parents' war is about to become ours. Figure out which side you're on. Whoa, that's a bit extreme. What, because he's he's not very physically capable and he can't fight as well as them, he's somehow on their side? That's... That's so mean. So far, Astrid hasn't proved to be a very nice person to me, personally. Then again, she could be like completely like consumed with the image of being a Viking because it's kind of like projected onto all the young people in the village, right? It's okay, I bring, I bring gifts. I bring fishies. <laughs> it's intelligent. Oh, so cute! Could have sworn you had. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. It can sit on its own tail like that? That's so cute. Come on, at least cook it first. No! Oh, you can see the slime come off it. <laughs> Oh. Ugh. I've seen so many animated movies in my childhood, but like, it's really fun to rewatch them as an adult. Ooh. Is this dragon an artist? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Got the eyes and the nose. Bro, I wouldn't test it. Bro, you are making this way more complicated than you need to. Just walk straight. Oh. Hello. There we go. Yes. Oh my goodness. He's the first person to touch a dragon and not like kill it and it not kill him. If it can't fly, it can't get away. A downed dragon. Is a dead dragon. Mmm, like the black dragon. Okay, I've been stuck with you since birth, and that was never. She's sus. Well, he's sus. She's picking up on the sussery. <laughs> I bet their like little hopes feel so cozy. Oh, that's right. He's a blacksmith. He seems pretty capable. Nice. Okay, so tell me if this is realistic or not, right? So, he's a blacksmith, yeah? But he's the scrawniest person in the village. Does that make any sense? I, I, I imagine that if you're a blacksmith, you're probably like, you'd probably be ripped, right? No? Okay. I don't really like heal much either. I do my <laughs> own business. I love pickup. He's so funny. He's just such an awkward character, but he's also like really charismatic. It's so frustrating because he's such a cool dude, but like it's only because of his lack of ability as a fighter that people don't like him. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that, boy. Mm, 
doesn't stick out. Oh my god, it's working! Whoa. Mmm. As soon as it realized it could fly, it it wanted to ditch him. Nope, they need each other now. Oh. Wrong head. Fish line! Now, this is just this you know what the other one is. He has to wait for it to get lower. Back. 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 Dang, my dude has the force. Think about what you've done. Ah, the disgusting eel. Yeah, they confuse as hell. I bet no one's ever seen a Viking do anything like that before. <laughs> This is so fun to watch. It, the dragon is like a test dummy for his designs. Dang, he's like a celebrity now. Oh, she's losing her celebrity status. Oh, it's, they're like a mixture between lizards and cats. But they've got like dog sort of features too. I wonder which design this is, how many he's gone through. I feel like I'm watching Iron Man. This is Mark 8. Oh, they went out with three ships. I trust you found the nest at least. Not even close. Everyone is so relieved. Out for the old and in with the new, right? No one will miss that old nuisance. He's gone. <laughs> I love how that's the immediate thought. Like, Hiccup is better now. Oh, he must be gone. <laughs> Who would have thought it, eh? He has this way with the beasts. Mm. But he, you haven't seen him kill one yet, though. Oh, so one. they're full flying now. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I've got goosebumps now. Oh, you can really feel how high it is and how fast they're going. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I feel like this is like every every person's dream, hey. Oh, yikes, yeah, don't lose those. Oh, no! Dude, 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 dude. <laughs> oh, no! Come on, mate, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Whoa! <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah, Scoff instinct. Oh, he's a pro. He, he knows what he's doing. It's in his gut now. <laughs> bro, he could get so burnt by that. That easy. Didn't even try. Aww. Well, that was easy. That was far easier than it took for him to, to get the other dragon's trust. I imagine it's because the other dragon, it has some sort of like, it's a little bit more intelligent than the other dragons. So it has less trust towards humans. That's why it took him longer to earn its loyalty. You've been keeping secrets. I, uh, I, ha I have? <laughs> Just how long did you think you could hide it from me? Let's talk. I, I was going to tell you, I just didn't know how to, uh... <laughs> Classic father move. Uh, you're, you're not upset? Uh, what? I was hoping for this. All those years of the worst Viking Burke has ever seen. I almost gave up on you. Oh, imagine being told by your dad they almost gave up on you. We finally have something to talk about. Oh, man, that's all he wants, hey. Because that's, uh... That is his, his entire life, hey, killing dragons. That's the only way he can really relate to his son. It's a shame. I'll, uh, go. Good night. I feel like all these years you've made Hiccup feel terrible for, you know, who he is, right? He's gonna have to show a lot of love towards him for it to kind of like make up for it, you know? Make Hiccup feel like he can trust his dad. 
Nope. Sorry. Close, but no cigar. Oh, you've done it! You've done it! Oh, you just created a new enemy. <laughs> Bruh. We're leaving. Let's pack up. Looks like you and me are taking a little vacation. Forever. Oh, she found him. I've been making outfits. So, you got me. It's time everyone knew. Here we go. Ow! Why would you do that? That's for the lies. That's oh. for everything else. That's a bit overkill, wouldn't you say? He hasn't done anything wrong. He's literally just better than her. That's it. She's so jealous. You just scared him. I scared him? Astrid? Toothless. Toothless? Astrid. <sighs> Yeah, I wouldn't like her on a first impression either. <laughs> the face. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where do you think you're going? I'm guessing he just went to go get the saddle for him. Oh, ah! Oh, great Odin, go! Ah! Ah! Not listening to anything you have to say! Then I won't speak. Just let me show you. She's just like contemplating whether she should just drop into the water or go with him. Toothless. Down. Gently. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh boy. Yo. <laughs> Toothless had no intention of going down gently. Toothless, what are you doing? We need her to like us. <laughs> yeah, you do. Don't do it this way. I'm sorry. Hey, there you go. It worked. Wow, it's so pretty. Wow. He really chose uh, the golden hour to, to take a girl on a ride, bro. Toothless had this planned the entire time. Wow. The detail. Hey, yeah, Hiccup. Come on. That's my boy. It's amazing. He's amazing. That's an understatement. You're literally living out anyone's fantasy. <laughs> Far out. That's a lot of dragons. Well. Far out. My goodness, this is the craziest day for Astrid. <laughs> They're not eating any of it. It is an offering. <gasps> what is that? Oh, bro, it's Godzilla. All right, bud, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, you gotta go. Go. Now. Go, 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 go. It's like a giant beehive. They're the workers, and that's their queen. It controls them. They know how beehives work. They're Vikings. The thing we've been after since Vikings first sailed here. And you want to keep it a secret? Well, uh, to protect your pet dragon? Are you serious? Yes. There's a confidence we were missing. Mmm. Okay. She liked that. <laughs> Bro. I love that he's finally gotten his, uh, his confidence. That's mm. Everything else. I mean, if I was Hiccup, I'd honestly be very confused. <laughs> I'd just be like, bro, like literally this morning you dropped an axe on my stomach. <laughs> well, I can show my face in public again. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so sad that they can just joke about hiccup. And no one's more surprised or more proud than I am. Finally heard his dad's proud of him, but he can't kill the dragon. Be careful with that dragon. She looks so soft now, now that she understands him. See how she looks so nice now that she's not like horrible and mean to him. I bet she's having a bit of an identity crisis as well though, right? Because her entire image was based on the fact that she kills dragons. Now she understands that dragons are innocent creatures as well. I'm ready. Dang, dude. Me before coffee. I mean, I totally understand where the villagers are coming from. Hey, this would be their only entertainment. I'm not one of them. Dang, dude. You shouldn't say that. We don't have to kill them. 
I said stop the fight! No, no, don't. Oh, he was so close to getting him killed. That was his fault. That was that was Stoic's fault. Dang, she's already protecting him like he hubby. Damn! Let's go. Come on, Toothless. Yeah, that's where his strength is. Right, Toothless, go. Get out of here. You're fine now. You're safe. Go. Get out of there. Oh, you're making it worse, bro. Oh, uh, see, ah, uh, damn. See, Stoic should see that it stopped for him. Ah, uh, it's all so messed up. So everything in the ring, a trick, a lie. I screwed up. I mean, it was kind of a trick. It wasn't a lie though. That's what you're worried about, not the people you almost killed. He didn't almost kill them. It was his fault. They killed hundreds of us, and we've killed thousands of them. They raid us because they have to. Stop being stubborn. Listen to back, him. They'll be eating themselves something else on their island, Dad. It's, it's a dragon like their never... island. But, Dang but it! No, I, I didn't. Dude. Only a dragon can find the island. No, no, Dad. No, please. Uh, you gotta hand it to Hiccup. He's doing a pretty bad job at <laughs> making the situation any better. For what in your life would you please just listen to me? <laughs> You're not a Viking. You're not my son. Oh. What? Dude. Oh, mate. See, is that... Is he kind of stuck in that whole identity issue as well? I guess he's like Astrid, right? But he's been like that for much longer than she has, hey, since she's technically still a child. I guess it's way harder for adults to change when they've been holding on to a certain perspectives for most of their life. Lead us home. I don't know, man. The only uh, devil I'm seeing at the moment is the way that Stoic is treating Hiccup and the Toothless. You must feel horrible. <clears throat> You've lost everything. Your father, your tribe, your best friend. Byron. Why couldn't I have killed that dragon when I found him in the woods? Why didn't you? 300 years and I'm the first Viking who wouldn't kill a dragon. First to ride one, though. I wouldn't kill him because he looked as frightened as I was. Mm. I looked at him. And I saw myself. I love that she did that. That she didn't just say the easy thing and validate him straight away. She actually like tried to help him discover what it was about himself that's unique and um, you know, beautiful about Hiccup. That's so creepy hearing the sounds of them all. That's creepy. She's so proud of him. <laughs> uh, wait, what are you? Sh I'm guessing that's the only way to really explain how easy it is for the other dragons to, you know, to let their guard down. The reason it took so long for Hiccup and Toothless to trust each other was because Toothless is far more intelligent than the other dragons, I imagine. All hell is going to break loose. And my undies. Good thing I brought extras. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> He's got jokes and they're about to fight a bunch of dragons. Damn. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, mate. Just get one hit. Dang, just like that. They're all gone. This isn't over. Form your ranks, hold together! I would already be on that ship and out of there. It's huge. To the ship! No, no! All the boats you took to get there are destroyed. Oh, gosh. Yeah, let's go. Squad goals. <laughs> okay, left legs hanging his 
blind spot. Make some noise. Keep it confused. Rough, tough. Find out if it has a shot limit. Make it mad. Oh my goodness. Hiccup just went straight into leader mode. I don't. I don't think any other person in the team would behave like that. Just take command like that. Oh, that's so annoying. I don't think you can just get those off, mate. Ah. Oh. Even Toothless was just like, no, stop, get out of here. <laughs> He's so big. How does he even, like, move through the water? <laughs> of course. He's that strong. Nice. Alright, come on, let's go. And Toothless is just like, come on, let's finish the job. I'm sorry for everything. You don't have to go up there. We're Vikings. It's an occupational hazard. I'm proud to call you my son. Good. I'm so glad he said that to him. I love how they're just two equals, both Toothless and Hiccup. They're the same. They're both extremely brave. I mean, Toothless was afraid of this dragon, and yet Toothless was immediately like, come on, let's go. Let's take out this thing. Did you get her? <laughs> <laughs> It's so cute! Alright, come on, let's go. go. That was an awesome POV. It's going so fast. Well, he can fly. Yeah, no sh <laughs> Mate, you best be booking it, bro. I love how Stoic was the only person who had slight concern. Everyone was so excited and he was just like, please don't get hurt. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so whenever you see lightning, it's actually toothless. <laughs> Works. Gotta say, that was pretty smart from the big dragon. Okay. Me, buddy. We're good. Just a little bit longer. <sighs> Whoa! Just burn the inside out. Oh. <laughs> he could have accidentally nuked his entire village. Oh no! It's gone. Toothless, come on, come on, come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Well, he's fireproof, isn't he? So he should be able to save Hiccup, right? I mean, there's two other movies, right? So. Oh, son. Oh. I did this. Yeah, definitely blame himself, hey? If you listened to Hiccup before they went to the island, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have attacked it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Toothless is like, what you worried about, hey? You're right here. Oh, he's alive! You brought him back alive! Thank you for saving my son. You know, most of them. Oh. I'm in my house. Uh, you're in my house. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Oh, <laughs> I love it. It's like a little puppy or cat. Sorry, bro. That's all right. This kind of makes you more badass now. Come on, guys, get ready. Pull out that here we go. It's a dragon utopia. Turns out all we needed was a little more of this. Yes, exactly. That's for scaring me. Always gonna be this way. Hey, <laughs> yo, mate. I could get used to it. <laughs> of course, you'd say that. This. Is Burke. It snows nine months of the year and hails the other three. Tough and tasteless. It's the people that grow here are even more so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that he's ripping into his own village now. The only upsides are the pets. Ah, they're pets now, not pests. We have dragons. Dang. Oh, that sounds so awesome. Dang it, now I want a dragon. <laughs> 
Every time I watch some sort of animated movie that has a really awesome, like, world, like, I just want to be in it for, like, the next 12 hours after the movie finishes. I'm just like, I just want to be there. Oh, well. <laughs> Mate, that was so much fun. This is why it is one of my favorite animated movies of all time. It's just, it's so much fun. I love the story. It's just, it's so simple, but it just works so well. Um, I also love the relationship he has with Toothless. I, the thing I like about animated movies is, you know, when they make live action films where they have to try to find two actors that kind of have really good chemistry with each other and have the right sort of relationship. I feel like that's the sort of thing you can do with animated movies that you can get away with. Like you can just create the chemistry, um, which is kind of like a massive advantage that animated movies have. I love the idea of having a really awkward, chatty Viking. <laughs> with a silent, just monstrous creature that is extremely adorable. I love it. I like how he had to kind of break free from the stereotype or the, you know, the expectation that was put on him by the rest of the village and particularly his father. Um, you know, he had to break out of that generational um, expectation. And it showed a lot of depth with Stoic and uh, Astrid. I feel like they were kind of like, the same character in a weird way. There are two people that he really respects, but Astrid was a person that hasn't been, you know, a Viking for as long as Stoic has. And it was easier for him to break free from that expectation. And she was extremely supportive of him pick up. As soon as she break free from this image that she created from herself, she was in the most supportive character for Hiccup straight away. Please let me know if you would like me to watch How to Train Your Dragon 2 soon. I can totally do that. I've got a lineup of movies ready, but I can make that a priority if you guys would like. So please let me know in the comments if you'd like me to watch the, the next two movies soon. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love for the channel to grow so that eventually I'm able to do more videos. Um, I'm able to dedicate more time to this whole thing. It's very new to me and it's very exciting. It's such an awesome creative outlet. I'm really, really enjoying myself. But more than that, I didn't expect to, you know, like you guys coming along with me, like having this community on YouTube. It's fantastic. I love it. I'm having so much fun. If you haven't already seen some of my recent videos, I did the Sea Beast, which is a little similar to How to Train a Dragon. So I'd go and check that out if I were you. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I really, really did. And I will see you all next time.